what's my best my best Megan McCain um, impression? This is dangerous. It's very dangerous. <laughs> and I take it very seriously. I'm a Republican and I'm the only one on here that has an opinion. Boy, oh, that damn Megan McCain. Anyway, viewers in hiatus. I was just happened to see one of the older shows and it was just crazy. Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family, whatever side of the diaspora that you're on. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me. Your host, Khadija. Okay, you know, we um we did our first live stream on last evening. And uh it, it, it wasn't that it was planned or anything. I was just playing around with the um, controls and seeing if I could operate and do it myself. So not, not that I know I can, that's what we going to be doing. We're going to be doing a little bit more live. But I got to say this, um, and I will be wrong spirited if I didn't. Because it's summer. Matter of fact, I'm glad the summer is almost over with. Because we are at a crossroads. We're at the crossroads, crossroads. And I think really those of us that uh, have wisdom enough to see the signs of the time and the, the succession of history repeating itself, boy, oh boy, we have to, um, it's my dog's out there. Excuse me. Had to go out there and um, you know, check check out check out the uh, activity. Listen, this message is uh, poof for Pookie and Ray Ray. Y'all know who y'all are. You know, every time the weather is warm, especially if you live in the midwestern um state, city, large city, we don't know how to act when the sun come out. We don't know how to behave. Um, and what has happened is we have gone so long and we've been so angry. We haven't um, allowed ourselves to be disciplined and we don't discipline our children. And so what happens is they grow up to be like tumbleweeds rolling around, roaming through the desert without no sense of direction and no sense of etiquette and protocol. And I'm saying that because um, as I was coming home today, I was driving down the street and I saw a crowd gang of, uh, of people about maybe about three blocks out from where I live. And I was saying to myself, dang, what is going on here? Just a bunch of, it looked like a Tarzan movie, okay? And so uh, I drove up, came back, I mean, came back, drove up, parked my truck, got in the house, and um, I started thinking, you know, wow, I'm kind of tired. Let me lay down for a minute. Let me just tell you how quick stuff can happen here. So I decided to lay down for a minute because I was kind of tired. But before I could lay down, I'm hearing my dogs in the house going crazy, going crazy. I was like, oh, God, let me go see what it is. I see a young man in my driveway. See another couple of them outside on the street. And this guy's got a big ass 45, uh, the biggest freaking gun I've ever seen. Long, long, long barrel. And he's swinging it and talking to them. These are young guys, maybe 19, 20, 21 at the most. Just young boys. Uh, where he go, man? What we going to do? He's standing out here with this firearm in his hand. And you got children playing down two doors from where I'm at. Let me tell y'all something. Now, I don't want to hear no Black Lives Matter shit today. Okay? Because what I'm about to say, your this, this don't matter uh, in terms of your black life, okay? You forfeit your own 
when you are reckless enough to take somebody's child up out of here with your stupidity. We're in a situation where we're being confronted with terrorism on both sides of the equation, and you, and you out here running around through a crowded neighborhood with children with a big-ass gun. There is no way in the world we can make any progress unless we're going to deal with this element in our community. It's got to be dealt with. I don't care who try to minimize it. You ain't going to get nowhere with that because there's too many of them. They, they're too ignorant. And they got no sense of self and no love for community and no forethought for our pyramids that's got to be raised up to carry on the race. Oh, we can't afford that. We can't afford it. And unless you're willing to address that element in our community to deal with it, this madness, this ignorance, this sheer ignorance. And so we got to deal with that and clean that up before we can deal with any of these outside forces. Right now, we're being attacked from without and within. And that's very difficult. Very, very difficult. I heard somebody say... Um, Today, I can't think who it was. I think it was Phil said that uh, white folks know who the supremacist is in their families because that's their cousin. Well, hell, we know who the riffraff, we know who the Pookie and Ray Rays are in ours. We know the mothers that know their sons that committing all kinds of uh, atrocities out here. But as long as he bringing her some dope money, she fine with it. As long as she keeping her, her bills paid, she ain't got nothing to do with that. And unless the police come in and raid the house and then declare the house a drug house where she lose everything anyway, she don't be happy until that happens to her. Now, you want to talk about some serious stuff? Because it's nation time now. So we got to start cutting down the weeds, getting these snakes up out the grass. Because this is important. This is the first sign of defense one-on-one. -on -one, is you got to separate the weed from the chaff. The weed from the tab has to be separated. Now, I know y'all don't want to hear that, but I mean every word I say. Right? Every single word of it. Because this is ridiculous now. It's too many children being shot. Too many children being killed. Yes, yeah, guns everywhere. Everywhere. I'm saying to us, as the moral compass for America, for the world. You have no society when you don't care about your woman and your kids. You don't have no society when you will let them be killed and you don't protect them and you don't give a damn about what happens to them. Matter of fact, you will take them out on GP, on Jeff, on just GP. That is not a community. It ain't even a hood. It's a freaking graveyard. And I mean every word I say. So with that being said, I'm, I'm going to go right now. And all I'm saying is, y'all better check your sons. Y'all better get them in order. And those of y'all who know your boys out there committing no good. I know a few women who have gotten their sons together. Because they said, listen, I'm not going to watch the police kill you. So either this is what you're going to have to do, or you're going to have to get away from me. Or I'll take you to Because the minute I find out that you out there are committing uh, 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 um, heinous, destructive things to the community that bore you, well, then you got to go because you're like a cancer. You got to be cut out. And it's just that simple. It's just that simple. So I just got to make sure I, I let that be known. And I, I, I'm going to be back with another video. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And we'll talk in the mental house. Bye-bye.